Welcome back to the latest edition of Muhlenberg College Plays of the Week. We begin at number 12 with field hockey freshman Alexandra Gann, who scored her first career goal against the Sales, and it came against the National Division III Defensive Player of the Week. At number 11, congrats to football senior Todd Spurt for becoming the Mule's all-time leader in extra points kicked. He was 6 of 6 in the Mule's opening win against TCNJ, giving him a school record 140 for his career. At number 10, women's soccer freshman scoring at Gwyneth Mercy. First, it's Emily D'Angelo with her first career goal, and then it's Noemi DeCorey with her first career goal. Was it a fluke for the freshman? Not really. In the Mules' next game against Delaware Valley, D'Angelo scored her second career goal, and DeCorey scored her second career goal in the Mules' 4 0 win. At number 9, another soccer freshman, Chris Richards of the men's team, putting in this long blast on a free kick for the second goal in the Mules' 2-0 win against Immaculata. And one long goal deserves another one. Here's junior Isabel Schwartz for the women's team with this long blast against Delaware Valley. And what goal number of a game was it? That's right, number two. At number seven, first play of scrimmage of the football season, and it's junior linebacker Spencer Kieran with the interception to get the Mules started in their win against TCNJ. Great job, Spencer. Now go find some friends to celebrate with. At number six, congrats to volleyball junior Maya Oluski for becoming the 14th player in program history to record 1,000 career digs. She did it in a match against Morrisville State. She is only the second mule to get there as a junior. At number five, great special teams play for football against TCNJ. On the punt, it's sophomore John Washington with the big hit. At number four, it's Centennial Conference Field Hockey Player of the Week, Jordan Seagrave, throwing it all out there against the Sales. She makes the stop that knocks off her glove, but she stays in the play and finishes a shutout. At number three, men's soccer tied with Messiah late in the second half, and it's Zach Simring with the cross over to Kevin Hagen. Hagen finishes for the tying goal. The Mules finish with a 1-1 tie against Messiah, who came in ranked fifth in the Division III preseason poll. And what beats a game tying goal? How about a game winning goal? It's sophomore Malia Hess scoring off the penalty corner. Her first career goal comes in overtime against Elizabethtown and gives field hockey a 1-0 win. And our number one play of the week, it's junior Michael Natkowski tying a school record with five touchdown passes in the football 45-26 win against TCNJ. Two TD passes to junior Mitch Daniel, two to senior Max Kieran, and one to sophomore Michael Feaster. Congrats to Michael Natkowski. Centennial Conference Player of the Week. That's all for this week. Back with more plays next week. Go Mules!